Hello, this is Daniel from Runloop and welcome to part seven of our building routines in heavy set video. In this video, we're gonna look at the tempo timer. So first of all, let's just get a basic understanding of the tempo timer. We'll go into settings, we'll scroll down to the bottom and we have tempo timer. So what the tempo timer will do is it will beep every second. Now, if you have a prescribed tempo that you want to perform during your workout, such as two seconds down, two seconds up, the tempo timer will beep twice at one pitch, and then it will raise the pitch to beep another two times before repeating over and over again. So we can test that as this is the default. What we can also do is we could have one, 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 one. So we're gonna do a one second up, pause for a second, one second down, pause for a second, and then repeat. And then that would sound something like this. Or say we could have a three second eccentric and a one second concentric. and so on. There are plenty of options here. I'm gonna put this back to two, two. And we have some other options further down. We have auto start and auto stop. So for the auto start option, if you have prescribed a tempo within a routine, once the rest timer finishes, the tempo timer will start up. As soon as you're, you know your rest is done, the tempo starts and you can get into your reps. The auto stop feature just means as soon as you are done with your reps, you can add the log set button and the tempo timer will stop. So let's demonstrate this within a routine. We're going to our demo routine and enter our squats and say tempo and we'll do three, one. We'll come out of here and we'll fire it up. So now once the rest timer finishes, the tempo timer should begin. And then once we have finished our set, we can just press the log button and it will stop. And that's the tempo timer in heavy set. <laughs> 